Hello, this is teacher Jekyll. Uh, this video is for sixth grade. Uh, don't forget to mandatory to write the date. Remember, you need to write the date. Today is June 23rd, 2020, okay? June 23rd, 2020, so you write here or you can write on your notebook. And today we're gonna have a listening class. So listening class, remember, is very important and it's mandatory for you if you want to understand uh, a new language. Remember also that if you read, or I mean, if you read, you, you can review almost everything. You review vocabulary and so on. But if you listen to English, it is going to be a spectacular because you're going to learn how to speak. Remember, listening is similar to speaking. So listen and speak. So you need to listen and then you can learn how to speak. Today, uh, we're going to talk about the time. So we're going to talk about the time. What time is it? You know, so... And we're going to have uh, different options for uh, telling the time. So question number one is, what is the time? Or what time is it? So what time is it? When you say, what time is it? ¿Qué hora son? So when I say son last, it is. It is five o'clock, it is seven o'clock. It, it depends on you, okay? So what time is it? So when you say what time is it, you say X. And in Spanish is son las. So what time is it? What time is it? ¿Qué hora son? What time is it? What time what time is it? What time is it? So it's son las. So here there are some options to telling you how to say the uh, the time. But I want to tell you this. Uh, imagine this is PM exercise one. So in English, we say it's similar like in Spanish. 1.20 PM is possible. So option one is similar like our Spanish. 1.20. What time is it? It's 1.20. Uh, option three, um, option two, what time is it? So it's, it's, son las, it's 3.30 p.m. option, okay? So stop, entonces, para decir la hora, what time is it? Para decir son las, decimos it's, decim, podemos hacer una opción, Parecía español. Son la una y veinte. One twenty. One twenty. Igual que en español. Las tres y treinta. Three thirty p.m. or yeah. Entonces esas son las opciones más fáciles. Existe otra que es lo opuesto. Entonces primero decimos los minutos. Entonces decimos twenty past. One. So there is another option. Hay otras, otra opción. La segunda opción es, ¿qué hora son? What time is it? Twenty past one. Or, we can say here, what time is it? It's thirty past three. Claro que aquí también nosotros en español decimos las tres y treinta. Entonces uno puede decir tres y media, perdón. Entonces uno puede decir three and half. Three and half. O three and a half. Three and a half. Las tres y media. Por eso nos van a dar unas uh, relojes. Entonces dicen, what time is it? It's. Son las. What time is it? ¿Qué hora son ahí? 
In this case is three o'clock. Siempre que hablemos de o'clock, vamos a decir en punto. Las tres en punto. Entonces, siempre que hablemos de o'clock, en punto. Entonces, si tenemos aquí una, one o'clock, una en punto. Two o'clock, three o'clock, ten o'clock, ten o'clock, las diez en punto, ¿ok? And that's what I want. So, now is this. What time is it? What time is it? As for science too, it's 1.15. Or, nosotros en español, en español también decimos cuarto. Y cuarto en inglés decimos quarter. Quarter. Esto es cuarto. Cuarto. Las y cuarto. Entonces decimos a quarter past one. A quarter past. Entonces primero dicen los minutos a quarter past one. So, a quarter past one. This. What time is it? A quarter past one. Uh, what time is it? It's five minutes past eight. Están diciendo, no como la opción más fácil, sino primero los minutos. Entonces, primero decimos five minutes past eight. O sea, que ya pasaron ocho minutos. Past minutes. So, it's here. Es, estamos aquí. Uh, what time is it? It's, uh, what time is it? It's five past eight. All right. So, here is five minutes past eight. Uh, what time is it? It's five past eight. It's... Ten thirty. Aquí le dice como la primera. One ten thirty. And what time is it? It's um, it's uh, ten to three. Ten to three. Diez minutos para las diez. Ten to three. What time? Ten to three. Ten to three. Now you need to listen and then you take. Van a escuchar y van a subrayar cuál de las dos es. Si son, es 10, it's 7, or is 7, uh, 15, or 7 quarter, or quarter past 17. So you need to tell me the time, okay? So listen and pay attention to this. And you uh, tick. Tienen que seleccionar o las 7 o las 7 y cuarto. Una de las dos, no las dos. En el B. Uh, 10, uh, 11, 10, or, 11, or 10, 45, or 45 minutes past, or 15, or 15 minutes past 10. Let's go, so let's go to this, and then you can tell me, if you can understand about this listening. And let's go to this, um, All right, so listen. Uh, what time is A? What time is it? It's seven o'clock. B. What time is it? It's a quarter to five. So you need to serve. It's a quarter to... To... Uh, it's a quarter to five. So repeat. A. What time is it? It's seven o'clock. B. What time is it? It's ten past eleven. C. What time is it? It's a quarter to five. D. What time does the school start? It starts at half past seven. And E. What time do you get home? I get home at five to five. Five to five. So according to this listening, you complete this, five to five. All right? Choose five to five or five or five. One of them. 
Now let's go to the listening. Listen the hear activity uh, two and activity three. All right. So listen to a review and mark in mark take the photo of the student's journey. So you're gonna say this or this. The listening it correspond to this or to this landscape. All right. And then listen again and write or mark the statements T or F false. John is a parent. T or F. Right? So pay attention. Pay attention. Listen careful and take. Ready? So one, two, three. Uh, listening. This is a listening. Uh, there are two. There is a uh, journalist and John. Journalist. John, is it difficult to teach in the school that is so far away? John, well, it's difficult for students to get here. Journalist. Do the children come every day? John, yes, they do. Journalist, what time do they arrive to the school? John, they arrive at seven o'clock. The school starts at half past seven. Journalist, do they walk to school? No, they don't. They come by canoe. Canoe. Journalist, what about the teachers? Do you come by a canoe? No, we don't. We live in the school. Journalist, do all teachers live in the school? John, yes, we do. We stay here from Monday through Friday. All right, so this, the listening correspond to this picture or to this? Good, it correspond to this, right? All right, three. Listen again and mark the statements. T, true, or F, false. John is a parent. What do you think? John is a parent or John is a, 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 a what? So you need to say true or false. John is a father, mother. What do you think? Repeat. All right, let me repeat. This is an inter interview between John and a journalist. Journalist. John, is it difficult to teach in a school that is so far away? John, uh, well, it's difficult for students to get here. Journalist, do the children come every day? John, yes, they do. Journalist, what time do they arrive? John, they arrive at 7 o'clock. The school starts at half past 7. Journalist, do they walk to the school? No, they don't. They come by canoe. Canoe. Journalist, what about the teachers? Do they come by canoe? No, no, we don't. We leave in the school. Journalist, do all teachers live in the school? John, yes, we do. We stay here from Monday through Friday. So according to this, John is a parent? John is a parent? Definitely not. John is a teacher. So, F, false. The school start at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock start classes? Not really. 
teachers stay in school from Monday to Friday? Good. And that's all for today. That's the class. So, see you next class. Bye bye, teacher Jacob.